Worshippers were deep in prayer when Mohammed Moyes Omar walked into their Mississauga mosque last year and attacked. It began with bear spray, and soon he was swinging a hatchet. I don't think anyone ever wakes up to go to the mosque to pray and assume that they're possibly going to not come back home. Members of the congregation sprang into action, subduing Omar before anyone was seriously hurt. Had he tried to swing his hatchet before discharging the bear spray, and someone we love might have been killed. Omar pleaded guilty to three charges, including assault with a weapon. On Tuesday, a judge handed down a sentence of eight years in a Brampton courtroom. After credit for time already served, Omar will spend just over five years in prison. This young man spent so much of his time online, drinking in hateful speech until he allowed it to warp his life. According to court documents, the 24-year-old was motivated by a hatred of Muslims, and plans of an attack had been in the works for a year. During their search of Omar's home, <laughs> police found video footage of the fatal mosque shootings in Christchurch, New Zealand. In his vehicle, a large knife, a cleaver, and rope, among other weapons. Authorities also found evidence he tried to obtain a firearm, and Omar told investigators he considered building a bomb and using his car to run over Muslims. Canada is actually a leading G7 nation when it comes to Islamophobia-related um, fatalities. And so I think we're past the point of acknowledgement and we need to step into action. In 2017, a gunman killed six men at a mosque in Quebec City during Sunday prayers. And a 21-year-old man accused of running down a Muslim family in London, Ontario with his truck two years ago will face trial in September. Idhul Musa, CBC News, Toronto.